can opener has been on like the last five of my kitchen shows yeah, because, because it's so popular. Because that's what we do. Um, Carolyn I, and I can openers. Let me just interrupt to say on Facebook, uh, we're posting a picture of me that we took just now with these lock and locks. We want to know what's your favorite leftover. What's your favorite leftover? Do you my favorite one? leftover is, are you ready for this? Yeah. Um, meatloaf. Oh, Because I yeah. feel like it really can... Um, Get reheated yes. really well, especially it's got gravy in it. Yeah. Um, and oh, that I was, I was lock, remember, I'll lock and lock in the microwave with the little flaps up. So Use it every time. Mine is lobster mac and cheese. Oops. I or any kind of mac and cheese. Oh, that's um, nice. So we know a lot of times you use uh, your lock and locks for leftovers. So post your favorite leftover on Carolyn Gracie QVC on Facebook, and we'll show your responses throughout the show. Lot. Okay, deal. All right, so Deal. this can opener is amazing. It's actually a five in one because it doesn't just open cans easily, no, but no. it actually opens pop tops, twisty tops. It opens um, the pressurized can lids. And mm -hmm. what am I forgetting? Um, um, soda cans? Yeah, Did so, we do soda and, cans? And um, two liter bottles? Uh, I forget. Anyway, oh, <laughs> a it's lot. a bottle opener. Okay, so it does all of those things, and it's really great. You never have to clean it. It's easy to use. I have the red one right here. Let's look mm -hmm. at all the colors all in my kitchen right drawer. Okay. And my dogs actually, who actually dogs can see red, mm -hmm. uh, they actually know when this comes out of the drawer, it's time, it's time for their eat. canned food. So yeah. here's the black. David's got the black one. Red is mine. We also have it for you in this beautiful blue, blue. which is like a purpley blue. Mm -hmm. Now, if you really want purple, though, we have eggplant. Yep. This one is your um, blue. No. Aqua. Aquamarine, sorry. Mm -hmm. This one is spice. Spice. And again, our and most limited is the olive. That's the one in my kitchen because that's the color of my walls, and that's okay. how we, ca we came up with the color. Okay. So this is the yeah, the, you the, that. the pre the prior um, gadget that everybody used. The um, only this choice is we ever typical, had. It's dirty. Look it's at the rusty. Color. It's got some kind of bacteria on yep. there that's probably getting that's into growing. the newly opened can. <laughs> Uh, and it, it's dangerous. It can actually cut you. Uh, this is the better mousetrap, yep. as Mark Charles is famous for. And yep. that's why this is always so popular whenever yep. it's on the air. Right. And, of course, customer top rated. Let's talk about why it's different, okay? We're used to opening up a can from the side where the blade goes in. It actually creates microscopic shavings of metal that goes into your food. Mm -hmm. It creates a sharp edge. It touches your food, so it cross-contaminates, and it breeds bacteria all in the same can opener. Till now, that's the only choice we had. But look, this is auto-attached. You just sit this right on top and twist, and what happens is it catches the can from up top. You can actually lift the can, that's how you know you've done it right, and just twist. You can be righty, lefty, let the can move around, you stay still, and then you go around once. What happens is it gets a little quicker, and you go, oh, it got a little easier. Reverse, and you've just let, it, you've just opened the can and taken it off. Look at this can, does that look open to you? Let me show you. You got the little bird beak here. You don't have to use the bird beak, it's just a safer way of using it because it you don't know where that can has been. Yeah. So from a c contamination part, so we just basically, you saw the little glue parts coming out. We did the reverse concept of what a can took to create a can. So we uncanned the can, if you yeah, will. Yeah, okay? I got you. So, uh, we're and over here. Again, this edge is not sharp. The edge of that lid is not sharp. And then you dump and it right in the trash. Not a single ounce of liquid, food, or anything on there. So that means I can go from dog food straight to baby formula if I need to. I don't need the pet can opener and then one for the people because they never touch the food and they don't cause contamination. Well, pets are people too anyway in my kitchen. I know. All right, so let me show you again. Even this teeny Good, can of no matter what um, the size tomato can. paste. And again, you're not going to do this around That's the side. That's what you want to do, but you can't. It doesn't work that way. All you do is like, <laughs> like a spaceship down to the top of the can. Do you have just, to make that noise just, when yeah, they do you that? you have to do that. <laughs> Um, just put it on the top of the can and start turning. Just start it will turning. find the edge. You don't have to line anything up. And then you, uh, again, as soon as you find a little catch, I already did it. It went foop because yep. now it, it's easier it to It already spin. went around once. You go backward one time, it and comes off. Undone. Get your little, see the birdie beak presses Look right here with this white She's button. So good at this. She doesn't and then me. you grab the edge of the can and it comes right off. See? And right to the garbage. Not sharp, not contaminated, goes you in the garbage. The and here's your can, nice and opened. Okay, now, so that's the main thing you're going to use yep. this for, but it does four other things. Four other things. If that wasn't worth, worth the price of admission, here's four of the reasons why. If you flip it on the other side, we did four of the features on this side. You talked about the bird beak here. This is actually the parrot beak. That's the little, the little uh, nose there. Because a lot of cans are coming out with what we call the pull tabs. Yes. Now I bite my fingernails, and Carolyn has beautiful manicured fingernails. Two reasons why we can't use to this can. So we can able to go. I'm going to go down on the on the counter, guys, because it's easier to do it on the counter. So you just want to grab leverage, and it actually scoops in underneath and pulls, pulls no matter what back. size that can is. It's going to open that up beautifully. So that's the beautiful parrot beak. So number two, we're gonna. Uh, that's number three. Number two is a lot of times you need a bottle opener, plain okay. old bottle opener. All What's right. important is this is a stainless steel one. Never gonna rust, pit, or can cross contaminate on you. Plastic ones will break on you. These, this will not. At the ready, fine, great. Right. Okay. Then the next thing, what people don't realize is personal water bottles, one liter, two liter, and three liter bottles 
actually have the same size cap. So we created this little graduated circle here with all these little ridge, ridges here. So what you're gonna do is sit it on top. You're gonna twist the bottle. Again, don't have to move your hands. It makes it very easy so we can break, if you notice right here, <coughs> that, see that? It actually oh. popped right off. Yes, I saw break that. Break that seal. You may not have a, a dexterity issue with this, but on a hot summer's day, if your hands are wet or whatever, or if you use olive oil, they will slippery, that gives you that leverage. That's mm -hmm. number four. Okay. And number five. And the, the fifth last thing, thing that it does is It's one of this. Carolyn's favorites. Metal um, jars. Because you used to do this. Boing, bang, 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 bang. Try to get or, the lid off, Or with off, a knife right? or on the edge. Yeah. You're going to go right here, and you're actually going to sit right underneath the, the lid. And watch this. I don't know if you can hear it, but it actually releases the pressure. Yep. Once you hear that little, it's releasing the vacuum that the factory seal does on that. And now it makes it so much easier to open up metal can jars. Fantastic. So five in one. Let's look at colors again, because there's something for every kitchen out there. Every kitchen. There's the black. That's what David has. Here's the red, that's what I have. Here's the blue one. This is the eggplant. <coughs> Sorry, Marcia, I'm getting okay. over a cold. Okay, that's the aquamarine, aquamarine. spice. <laughs> and then the last one is olive. That's one that's in my kitchen. And again, let's take the red one, which is Carolyn's, and show you how easy it is to just actually go right onto the can, scoop it right on, and actually all you're gonna do is twist. And remember, it makes it easy. Remember, you're not gonna have any sharp edges now on the can of the lid. You're not gonna have any microscopic shavings of metal in your food, which by the way, happens on the old way. <laughs> you're gonna have no cross-contamination, and you've got a safer way, a cleaner way. Look at this can. Look at this can opener, nothing. You can use it over and over again, and unless this drops into the spaghetti, that's the only reason this is gonna get dirty. And you don't have to, all you have to do is wipe it out. Don't put it in the dishwasher. You won't have to, again, <laughs> only if you drop it Sorry. into the, the um, Tomato, We're going to cough through this three hours. It's okay. I apologize in we advance. We love you anyway. <laughs> Coughing and all. I, I was, go I was getting again? this on Sunday in David's show, and now it's really bad. Okay, so olive. Olive. Least uh, available. Spice. Spice. Aquamarine. Eggplant purple, purple. Blue. Red. And black. And black. All right. Just a great gift. I know it sounds a little kooky, but remember, it makes life a little easier. Even for things like, let's say you don't open cans all the time. To know that you have these four features on the other side and a can opener, I think a can opener is like the front door and a kitchen <coughs> sink. Every home in America needs one. So a lot of things, 50% of the cans now come with these pull tabs. Whether you have pets or not, and being able to get underneath there and pull that opener for you with that great parrot beak is really wonderful. Having that stainless steel bottle opener at the ready, anytime you need, you realize when usually the bottle openers are very small, you can't find them because they're in this big colorful can opener, you can always pull that open ready to go for so you, okay? So let's, let's quickly go through all of the features again. Yep. So the pull tab, okay, so the we bottle did the, opener. The bottle opener, we did the two liter bottle real okay. quick to show you that. Again, sit it on the bottle. Yep. These lids are always the same size, no yep. matter what size One, bottle. One, two, so three liter bottles and, and personal pops. Comes off really quickly. And then the uh, uh, pressurized the lids. The pressurized lids, which are your jar metal. lids. So they have to, it has to be metal. Watch this, you can hear it. Ah, yep. You see that? And look, pops and right now off. you don't have to get some big, strong mm -hmm. guy to come open the jar, unless yeah. you really want to. Unless you really want me to come over. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing, of course, is the can opener, which is what we would say is the price, the, the worth the price of admission, because no, no sharp edges on the can of the lid now, and your life just becomes a lot easier with the can opener. If you want to get more than one, a lot of people actually do buy multiples of these because they make great foodie gifts. It's I a buy so. more and save today, three dollars. So take advantage of that little savings. Black, red, blue, eggplant, aquamarine. Thank you, honey. Spice and olive is the most limited. We're gonna call her Miss Carolyn Cough today. That's her new name. The good part is I'm I'm beyond the contagious stage. I'm That's just in the I'm in the obnoxious. <laughs>